I, I started out in education in uh, 1982. I was hired at Easton High School. And before the principal, a gentleman named Bob Hall, um, offered me the position, he said, you know, I'm a little hesitant. And he said, uh, you belong in St. Michael's. And I said, why, did you say, why would you say that? He said, I just know your personality. I really feel you belong there. And then, ironically, seven years after that, I taught three years at Easton. I took a year off, went into sales with Pitney Bowes, um, tried to raise some money so I could, uh, you know, f afford a house at that time. And after a year, uh, decided to go back into education. I went down to Dorchester County. Co I was down there for three years, and a job opened up, and Mr. Leach called me, said, there's an opening, and I'd really like you to come to St. Michael's. So that's how I ended up there, and I thought it was kind of, you know, strange with the... Um, Mr. Hall scenario and how I ended up back there, yeah. but I've uh, been there ever since and I have to agree with him. I just like the intera interaction with the kids. Um, and usually one of the good things about phys ed, 90% of the kids you have in there really want to be there and actually enjoy it. I think that the interest level, um, and, I, and, and it also allows you to do multiple grades. Like I'm currently teach grades six through 12. So I get to see these kids as they as, as enter sixth graders and then ended up graduating as young adults, and it's kind of neat to see the progression. Baseballs. We've done very well, yeah. Um, we've won four state championships. Uh, we've been a state finalist twice. That we won 10 region titles. And um, we've, been we've been blessed to have, like I say, good talent, but it's, it's a combination of a lot of things. It's, it's the, the, you know, our administration support, our community support's incredible. We have a lot of people that come to baseball games that don't have kids playing, that just like to come out and support. Um, there'll be days that the field's wet and I'm working on it and somebody just shows up to help that's in the community to help me get the field dry so we can play that day. So it's, uh, from, from that aspect, it's, it, it, it's really enjoyable. What we try to get across to our kids um, is that it's more than just the baseball game. That we hope, we hope that they learn life lessons out of it. Um, we try to get them to rely on their teammates, um, to be unselfish and give yourself up for runners and those kind of things. And we preach that to them a lot. And, um, and hopefully some of the things that they've learned, um, they're able to carry on you know, in their life and um, as they get older. So that, that's kind of our emphasis as coaches that we like to share with them. We're just, we're just blessed that, that, that things fall the right way, I guess. Um, we, we, we have had good talent. We've had great talent, I shouldn't say that. Um, and I think there's, I tell people all the time, there's so much luck involved in it. You know, everybody's got to stay healthy. It, it, you know, you got to get things to go your way. You got to hope your pitching lines up. So to win, uh, baseball is difficult from that avenue that like where one pitcher on another team, even if the team isn't that good, can certainly dominate you. So there's a lot of variables that enter into it. So um, I mean, the one group of kids we had won it three out of four years. And that's, you know, you know, and the other one, they lost in the state semifinals and got a break here or there. They could have done it, you know, all the way. So, um, you know, I, I certainly, that, that's our objective is to go as far as we can. But um, it, there's just, so, like I say, so many things play into it that, um, yeah. you know, that have to work right. But again, we, we try to take our kids to a different level where we emphasize the team part of this as much as we can. And, you know, don't let your, you know, players down, et cetera. Um, we try to come up with a team motto every year, something that, you know, would, would resonate that amongst our players. And, um, you know, it, you hope it works. Like yesterday, I was going up to see uh, Adam Parks, who played for me, and uh, they're playing in Hagerstown. So I was trying it up. Monday and Tuesday gets rained out, and I couldn't go today because I had a doctor's appointment. But, um, you know, it's just those kind of things when you see kids being successful there or when you see kids that are successful you know, outside the baseball world. That, that's what makes you feel good. Is I think a lot of people, when they start the, coming up, that they think that scholarships are just hanging on trees. Um, and I think it, a lot of it depends on the sports that, that you're attempting. Um, this area's had a lot of kids that have been able to get them, but certain sports only have so many that they can give, and they're very difficult. Um, so you hope that, you know, you can, you'd love to see every kid get it, but that's, you know, not the reality. And I think, I think parents think a lot of times that, you know, maybe that this is what we want our kids to do and not that it can happen, but I think, um, you know, the feeling that it's a lot more readily available than, you know, what people think. And, and the hard work you really got to put in in order to achieve that kind of stuff. We just had a group of kids this year and we had one senior who, who was just an unbelievable leader being the only senior out there, a um, gentleman named Lewis Risher. And... I look forward going to practice 
as much this year as I have any year I coached. And that's what people say to me, when, when would you think that, you know, you, you want to quit? And I said, well, as long as I like what I'm doing, and, and, and very honestly, I liked it as much as, as ever. It's just, a, again, we didn't win a state championship. It's just a great group of kids that played hard, and so, and a lot of them were young, so it lets me feel good that uh, in upcoming years that uh, we'll be well taken care of.